guys what is up and welcome back just made myself a little iced coffee from home and I already have to go pick up Sydney so today is an early release day for her and I have to leave in about a half hour to go pick her up the day flew by so fast I did a little picking up around the house and then I um, did some work on my phone making like to know it posts for the future scheduled ahead um, but so today when I pick Sydney up from school we will run home have lunch and then she has a dentist appointment I had scheduled this dentist appointment six months ago so lucky that it fell on an early release day I didn't have to like worry about taking not worry but I didn't have to take her out of school um, and then last night so the first thing that we do when Sydney gets home from school she goes into the bathroom and she washes her hands with soap and water of course well, all of a sudden I hear this bang and then crying and I, in, you know, that mom instinct, you, like you instantly know they got hurt. And so I go running around the corner, she's running to me and she's going like this to her mouth. She was jumping up and down, making silly faces in the mirror and she's too short to like see normally. So she was jumping up and down and she came down and whacked her front teeth on the vanity and it left little teeth prints on the vanity that's how hard she hit it so <sighs> i um had called the dentist and kind of just was telling them the situation and making sure i like we could wait until our appointment today to go be seen and they made a note of it and you know were telling me things that to look out for or might happen so she was in slight discomfort yesterday um, after it, she was saying that her tooth hurt a little bit, um, but she wasn't complaining a ton. Uh, she's a pretty tough cookie. She's got a high pain tolerance, I already know it. Um, but this morning she woke up and her, most of her entire upper lip is swollen. Um, and she's like talking with a lisp. I think it's because she's just swollen. She says, or said this morning that her tooth didn't hurt um but the major thing that i was <laughs> should have said first was she has one um of the top teeth is now wiggly not crazy wiggly but definitely wiggly so i'm thinking they're gonna do some x-rays uh, maybe i don't know what the protocol is um thinking that you know the dentist will check it out it is wiggly and i'm just really hoping that her gums just like tighten back up and there's no damage or anything very common though I know it's very common because the dentist when I had called they were like yeah we see this all the time and then so many of you had messaged on Instagram with so many different variations of the story some of them healed some of them had to have their teeth pulled some of them so many different variations so I'm trying not to freak out she's a little kid she'll be fine it's a baby tooth it's not a permanent tooth so yeah that's that um it's also cold and rainy so i do have some cleaning to do i want to pick up the playroom probably later i don't have a whole lot of time mm, i could probably do that now actually i have like 20 minutes before i have to go pick sydney up um just some sprucing up to do laundry and housework kind of a day I'm in the middle of trying to make um, like a little Halloween decoration for Sydney in her playroom. So she has all of the pumpkins in here and I had taken down the plants. But yes, I got to pick up the stuffed animal situation. Just pick up generally.
Hi, girly. Hi. You taking care of Elsa? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. So I'm making you mac and cheese. Want to show everyone your lip? I don't think it's that noticeable, but you know. Does it hurt? That's not, that's only a little bit hot. Oh, um, yeah, boiling water. I'm gonna make mac and cheese for lunch, okay? Does your, how's your mouth feel? Good. Does it hurt? No. I mean, yeah. Only my teeth. Yeah, does your tooth hurt? Yeah. A little bit? But you're okay? She's definitely the type to not tell you it hurts unless you ask her. Sydney said she's gonna play in the playroom while I come in. Oops! Oh, I was opening it at the same time as you. Okay. I'm gonna go Why right. you open at the same time? I was gonna come see what you were doing. I'm gonna bring in the back to Elsa. Aww. Oops. I'm assuming this is empty since it was just snacks for early release. Empty. Random scribbles. went up there for one thing and you brought all this down Sydney goes into storage and brings all the stuff down and she found her costume from two years ago oh <laughs> that's the mac and cheese All right, just a quick and easy, cozy lunch since it's cold and rainy and I kind of want her to have soft foods until her tooth heals. Um, so mac and cheese and some peppers. Sydney, what did the dentist say? Um, I don't you don't remember? Do you like the dentist? Mm -hmm. Sydney likes the dentist. She gets toys, special tokens at the end. She got stickers. Um, and crayons. Crayons, coloring things, and bouncy balls. Anyway, you guys, good news. Sydney's teeth are gonna be okay. We hope. Um, anyway, so no like damage to the tooth, the ligaments or anything. I know nothing about dentistry. So this is just me trying to remember what he was telling me. They took x-rays um, and she has in the socket swelling and <gasps> bruising, slight bruising, but swelling um, in the gums. And so that's what the little slight shift is and they expect that it will be completely fine. So all good news.
um, and they said, you know, probably the pain, like any pain or discomfort should subside in a couple of days. Um, you know, they obviously gave me the what to watch out for. Um, so there is bruising up in, if you lift her lip, it's pretty purple and dark bruised, um, but mostly gum trauma, which is surprising. And they were even surprised because I said, I mean, I took a picture, um, because of the like, mark that she left on the counter and how hard she hit it it's very surprising to me that her gums is what took mo the most of the the beating the brunt um, of it but hey grateful I'm very grateful you got enough stuff in there I want this to show at nighttime. Okay, alright. And I spent today cleaning up the living room, but it is well played in and used. So I just put Sydney to bed. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly spruce up the living room, get things ready for school tomorrow and work tomorrow. Enough. 